Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we are going to talk once more about the Italian tank destroyer. Because yes, Wargaming announced them, but they announced only the tech tree. What about the premiums? We kind of know which one it's going to be, and in advance, I'm going to present it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the Vipera, a tier 8 Italian tank destroyer, a premium one, and pretty much a strong opponent. Aesthetically talking, it definitely looks like a shared tier, or at least it looks like it would have the exact same capacities. But it's kind of a no-go simply because both tanks, even if they are sharing something in common, aka the firepower, this one is definitely less mobile and more armored. But we're going to talk about the statistics a little bit later. Before that, I want to tell you why the Vipera is the new tank that we will see. The answer is based on two criteria. The first one is how Wargaming implements tank or new branch in World of Tank Blades. Usually what we have is a taste of it with a premium released first in order for Wargaming to test out and gather statistics before releasing the mainline in order to do late adjustments or things they didn't see about the tank, things that were possibly broken that the testers didn't see yet. And it was the case, for example, with the release of the Shinukai, because we saw the Shinukai being implemented into the game before we actually had the whole STV line. And those kind of things is definitely something Wargaming does again, again, and again. And it's no different with the release of those tanks we currently see on screen. The second criteria is the fact that Wargaming decided on both World of Tank PC and World of Tank Blitz to release those tanks at the same time. So if we follow that logic, we should be able to see the exact same premium that they prepared in World of Tank PC to be implemented in World of Tank Blitz as well before the release of those tanks. And if it's the case, the Vipera is the tank Wargaming chose in World of Tank PC, so it's possibly going to be the one they chose also on World of Tank Blitz. Now, let's take a look at the statistics and the full name of the tank, which is a little bit complicated, SMVCC-64 Vipera. And of course, when you take a look at the gun abilities, you are going to be surprised, at least from the World of Tank PC perspective, because what you see right now are not the statistics of the tank in World of Tank Blitz, but rather the super testing abilities in World of Tank PC and World of Tank PC only. But there are still some things specifically on the mechanism that are quite interesting to notice. First of all, what about the damage? 400 per shot. So we can expect something like 350 in World of Tank Blitz, even 380 if Wargaming really wants to push the statistics. For the rest, the armor penetration is pretty low for a tank destroyer. And I think that this is a characteristic that Wargaming will keep in World of Tank Blitz as well, because only having 220 is definitely not enough knowing that we are talking about a tier 8 tank destroyer. At the same tier, we have the RHM, for example, that has something like 255. So 35 more millimeters than the one you are currently seeing. Now for the rest, and specifically the reload time, you see that it's quite huge. And it's quite huge for a reason. This thing is equipped with a great autoloader. Five pieces or five shells in the magazine in World of Tank PC, which implies that if Wargaming follows that logic, we should be able to see maybe two three shells in the magazine, and if it's the case with 350 alpha damage per shell, we should expect a burst of maybe 900, 1000, even why not 1.2k damage if it's still 400 alpha damage per shot within one burst, which is quite massive knowing that mm, yeah, 1.2k damage is nearly two thirds of any tier 8 tank you are going to encounter. But it comes to a price, and that price is the reload time between shells, because it's quite long. Just take a look at this, 8 seconds between shells for the Vipera in World of Tank PC. I don't know how it's going to render in World of Tank Blitz, I know that they will obviously decrease the reload time and the reload time between shells, because obviously as we are going to see less shells on the tank, we are not going to get the exact same reload, but maybe that it's going to block a little bit the abilities of that tank to shine among other tier 8s. Because of course, if you want to play something reactive, here it's definitely not the case. And on top of that, your gun dispersion and accuracy overall is just terrible. Just take a look at that, 0.44 in World of Tank PC. 
it's just terrible. But at the same time, the aim time is crazy, 2.7 seconds, which means that you are going to see your aim circle uh, get focused really fast, but it doesn't assure you that you will be certain to hit your shells. For the other statistics concerning the gun, specifically the gun depression, we find what we already talked about during my Italian video or my Italian tank destroyer presentation. It has 10 degrees of gun depression, meaning that you will truly be flexible uh, whatever the map you're playing on because obviously with 10 degrees you have around the best gun depressions in the world which means that you will be able to play on hills, hilly terrains and things like that. On top of that the fact that you are equipped with a crazy armor that we're going to talk about after really artificially increases your armor because if you manage to get yourself into a position from which you are using your 10 degrees of gun depression you're going to do the job and that's it because obviously if you have 220 millimeters for example of frontal armor if you use the 10 degrees of gun depression artificially you're going to get something like 270 even why not 300 and as i said the mobility of that tank was not as good as the one we saw on the chariot tier and it shows on the mobility because you can go to maximum 36 kilometers per hour in world of tank pc of course it's not a shame and it's not as bad as a t28 or a t28 prototype you are still going to be able to play aggressively take advanced position and why not play it like a medium tank the only thing you will need to make sure is to always be with someone never try to go alone anywhere with this tank because with the mobility you have currently if people try to push you it's over for you the j just thinking about the whole traverse speed for example that is at 26 degrees per second just the time for you uh, to realize that you're getting pushed and to try to turn your hull in order to escape your opponents they will already be at maybe five meters from you and it's going to be over so the mobility is definitely a downside in my opinion but if you have some map knowledge and map awareness you should be able to uh, make it a strength and for the armor as i mentioned you really do have a crazy one because take a look at the turret armor 275 frontal it's just insane if we keep those statistics in world of tank blitz it means that in all down nobody will be able to penetrate you without using gold shell and the only tanks that could penetrate you in gold shell would be all the tank destroyers that have crazy guns tier 10 guns like scorpion g and rhm and things like that and only if you are not using your 10 degrees of gun depression because as soon as you use your 10 degrees of gun depression in all down you become impenetrable and this is probably in my opinion the main strength of that tank just imagine picture this you are gonna get a chariot here that has a little bit less mobility but an impossible to penetrate armor you use your 10 degrees of gun depression from an all down position you only show your turret to your opponents you have three shells in the magazine you burst 1000 damage like it's nothing you push back to a safe cover wait for your whole reload and you start again this is what awaits you with the vipera and in my opinion it's going to be enough to make that tank popular so who is this tank destined to? In my opinion, two types of players. The extremely good players that really want to have fun bullying people at close range because they know how to play their tank and they know how to deal with a long reload, therefore being in all down with the rest of your teammates and making sure that everyone shoots at your front and bouncing you and you dealing your damage is extremely fun and appealing specifically for pro players. And at the same time, all the people that like to camp, like not to take too much risks and also people that like the old down play style this thing right there is for you the only thing lacking uh, is the information on the gun arc we don't know yet if it's going to be a fully traversable turret or not in my opinion it's not going to be the case because if they base this tank on the upcoming tech tree line we can obviously expect them to follow the same path as the regular tech tree italian tank destroyer which means that you are probably gonna have a gun arc of 90 degrees 45 degrees on the left, 45 degrees on the right. And if Wargaming is not generous, it's only going to be 60 degrees with 30 on the left and 30 on the right, like it's going to be the case on the upcoming tier eight tech tree. Now, 
The last thing I want to talk about concerning that thing is that right now nothing is official yet. We do not know if it's into it's if this thing is being taken into consideration from uh, the devs of World of Tank Blitz to be implemented. But if we follow the history of the game and if we follow uh, the news about the tank being at the same time implemented in World of Tank Blitz and World of Tank PC, I do not see why we, we wouldn't see this one being implemented. Of course, we do not have any information on that yet. I'm pretty sure that Wargaming will announce it soon because they said that the tanks would be ready for autumn. And if they really want to test out this thing, they have to release it before fall, which means that... Yeah, it's probably going to be in one month, why not one and a half month, something like that. So yeah, you better keep watching what's coming into the shop because I'm pretty sure that you're going to see it often or at least uh, pretty soon into the game. Now, of course, the video is over, but before you leave, I would like to get your opinion on this tank. Do you think that uh, based on what I said, it's something that is appealing for you? Are you going to try to get it or is it just a no because we already have many, many premiums at tier 8 and some that are better than this one? Personally, it's definitely something I'm going to get as a YouTuber, but also as a player, because I'm quite I'm quite curious about how the gameplay is going to render having a tank destroyer that is literally impossible to penetrate in all down. Of course, it's going to come with many downsides in order for it to be balanced, and I'm still waiting for World of Tank Blitz to announce those in order to be able to tell you if yes or no this thing is going to be worth it. So hopefully you enjoy it, guys. If that's the case, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. One last time, you see in detail the statistics of the tank to make your choice. And personally, I'm going to see you soon for a new video. Bye.